Um, and also that if I want to get big, I have to start hitting some steroids. Oh! Alright guys, just got to the gym, gonna be hitting some chest and shoulders, but first I want to start with some deadlifts, and guys, if you haven't already, make sure you watch the last video, Dumbest Mistakes for Chin Ups, Four Dumbest Mistakes. I'm already feeling kind of sore from filming that video because I did like over 9,000. It's over 9,000! Friggin' Chin Ups for all the B-roll, but I'm gonna just take that, push it to the side, hit some heavy deadlifts with my boy Tyler. What's up guys? This, he's no one special, he's just my friend at the gym. Just a friend, just a friend. <laughs> Actually, he's super into movies like I am, and I gave him a whole list of movies that he's supposed to watch. It's been like three days, and I'm talking so I'm loud. Sorry, I'm it's been sorry. Like, it's been like three days he hasn't watched one, because he has school. <laughs> <laughs> School's lame. I'm sorry. I'll Drop watch out. it though, I'll watch it. You okay. it. Which one are you gonna watch first? Probably The Pest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen The Pest, watch it. John yeah. Luiziamo. So for deadlifts guys, I'm not going for any goal in particular here. I'm probably gonna just work my way up to 315 and get six sets of six to eight repetitions and then move on to chest and shoulders. Try bringing them like tiny and close together. Yeah. Toes out a little. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then when you get down, you don't have to be like this, but just a little bit. Okay. Play last one. Okay, I got you. Get to the top and pause. So like right here, like it's all sagging down. Yeah, it is. Yep, perfect. max out right now, you run more of a chance of injuring yourself and then having to recover from that injury before you can train. So this is Tyreek. He's using the bench that I wanted to use. So There's now, two other benches. yeah, but I wanted, <laughs> I wanted, this bench is the best lighting in the gym. And he refused to move. He's like, Scott, I don't care how big your YouTube channel is, get the hell out of here. So we settled on I'm gonna show him how to bench properly because he's new, and then we can work in together. That's cute. All right, sounds good. It's a good idea. I'm gonna get big. Make well, sure you make, I want everybody to know how big your arms are. Me, make sure, yeah, flex them. Make sure you uh, spot them. So, if no matter how much weight I lift, Tariq's got me. Pro oh, tip. No, <laughs> hey, I'll let you in on a secret. He's really not that strong. <laughs> I'm telling you. He's definitely stronger than me. Trust me, I edit all his videos. <laughs> Just do two reps at a time exactly. and make it look like eight. <laughs> So now I'm gonna start my workout. I'm just gonna hit two exercises for chest and maybe two for shoulders. I'm gonna go for about eight sets of eight to 10 repetitions. I'm gonna go a bit lighter today. I got a photo shoot coming up, like I said, over the weekend. So I'm not necessarily just, just trying to go through the motions, but I'm also not trying to kill myself because I've bumped my cardio up as well. I'm doing cardio in the mornings just to kind of lean out a little bit more. So taking that into consideration, I'm going to the gym, tone down the workout intensity a tiny bit to make up for the added cardio. So one of the most important things I'm trying to teach Tariq is how to keep his shoulders packed. So we're gonna get him into position. Most, most people don't know how to do this when they first start. Wow. Feel the difference? Shit. See how his chest pops right up? So the back's not flat, it's tucked. All right, so grab here. 
So, okay. Yeah. Go. Yeah. And then what often happens, go down, with beginners is as they press up, the shoulders become unpacked. So I'm not pressing hard right now. I'm just giving him a reminder to keep it packed to build up his mind-muscle connection and strengthen those muscles in his back and shoulders to keep his shoulder blades packed. Yep, just gonna do eight repetitions. This already looks better than the first set we did, actually. There you go. So I plan on moving on to doing some flies, which I'm still gonna do, but I'm actually gonna throw in one more chest movement where I can lift some heavy weight, mainly because I want Tyreek to be able to do an exercise where he's gonna move heavier weight, but he doesn't have to worry so much about all the stabilizers. When you bench press, you're gonna stabilize the entire time. At least on here, the isolateral bench press, the weight's only moving one direction, and if he fails, it's just coming down, and he's good. So, let's hit it. It's already, look how much bigger he already is. You can't tell. He's massive chest. chest. Look at, look at the chest. It's already, sure. it's sticking out. It's the camera. Look it's at the that, camera. look at the under chest it's and the, the pump. It's the angle. Look at the pump right here. focused on this that I didn't even realize. I was happened. waiting for you to react. No, I was so dead focused on You were, that's why I was getting, I was like beating <laughs> myself up. I'm like, how, how much do I have to spread my legs for Ricky to react to this? I'm starting to hurt. Cause it's normal. <laughs> yeah. Another day in the life. Yeah, seriously. Juicy. Oh, Chest yeah. looks good in that tank. Thanks. It's Jet North. Get some. Boom. I'm not gonna get you one. You can get your own. <laughs> I'll use Scott 20. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Plug. Hold on. Ready? Oh, not again. Wait. Damn, man. We're not. Wow, you're training. You've been training so much. Look how much bigger. Just my pump right now. Look how much bigger you already got. Can tell. This is Jeez. one session with me. Uh huh. It's huge. For the low price of eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Look at the abs already popping through. Stop it. Stop it. Kyler, what do you think of your boy? You don't even recognize him anymore. Uh, he is massive. Right? Because of Scott. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely buy again. We should ask Lucifer if he wants to be if he wants us to train him. Still waiting for Lucifer to hit me up. I know. Jesus. Tom Ellis, let's go. <laughs> so we're gonna finish up chest. We're gonna do four sets of cable flies. And we're not gonna do quite high or quite in the middle. We're gonna do somewhere in between. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because it's gonna be easier for Tyreek to be able to really focus on keeping his shoulders packed and teach his body how to do flies the correct way. So, let's hit it.
Yeah, so step forward. You don't want you want to be kind of staggered like this, slight bend in your knees, all right? Good. And then remember, shoulders back, they're pressed. Yep. Now I want you to come together. The first rep might be a little weird. Here. Good. So you want this to be stable. Now as you come back, come back slow. Feel your shoulders retracting. Yep. And then come back to the middle. Yeah. And as you come in, you want to feel like your chest is coming up. Yep. Yeah, you see, you can see lift. Yep. Yep, stay upright. Retract your shoulders. Yep, now come forward. Good. Good. Now bring your elbows down. Retract your shoulder blades. Yep, now come back slow. A little bit. Come back slow. Feel that tension here and here. Good. Ooh, you're going to be so sore tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Steve Cook. Yeah, you kind of look. Steve's biceps this big? You kind of look like him. Probably bigger, right? <laughs> Maybe. Alright. Okay. Get up in there. Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't Oh, yeah. Alright, ready? All right guys, so I know I said I was gonna be doing deadlifts, chest, and shoulders, but I didn't realize I was gonna be meeting a new friend today, Tyreek, and it was more important to me to set him on the right path to at least doing his chest workout properly and knowing proper form cues than me hitting my shoulders because I can hit shoulders tomorrow morning and make up for that lost time. But Tyreek, how did you enjoy your workout today? What did you learn the most? Um, What's the most important thing that you learned? Okay, well, I learned a few things. Um, he told me that the most important thing that a man should know is how to do a proper chest workout. That's right. Most important thing a man should know. And he said, what did you, who did you say? He's like, shouldn't it be how to treat a woman? <laughs> I, I, said, if you don't, I said, if you don't know that by now, you're a lost cause. <laughs> um, and also that if I want to get big, I have to start hitting some steroids. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, he's hardcore. <laughs> I didn't the expect most, him to say that. Savage. Jesus Dude, Christ. You, I think I need to get him in my next yeah, Insta garbage video. I'm gonna go. <laughs> just, just Look at him, man. Like dying. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna put a standby logo in front of that. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> my God, we just lost all, all right, two million just subscribers. Lost all my subscribers. <laughs> what, was, what was the most important thing you learned? Um, well, actually, well, yeah, actually retracting my shoulders, but also uh, controlling the the negative motion all the way down. I never gave that much thought, but he said that some, so he gave me a number 40%. I forgot what I meant, but Talked I about just know that controlling it downwards is very important in building. Yeah, if you guys remember in the beginning of the workout, we hit the chest press first, which obviously requires a lot more stabilization because yes. you have to control the barbell. Then we went to the isolateral hammer strength machine. You don't have to worry so much about stabilizing the weight. And because I was there when he started to tire out, I could tell he still had some power, but he couldn't press. So I'd pull the weight up and then I would let go. He would control the negative because you're 40% stronger in the negative, And I would rather you guys get more negative reps to hit those muscle fibers real deep versus not hitting them at all. So that was good, man. Thank you so much. You got a smart mouth on you. Yeah, right? I like, I like, I like tire. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Sounds good. I'm gonna have to put him in a future video when I when I come back from my Jed North shoot. We can train some back. Oh, we'll make him train legs. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna like I'm that. gonna I'm gonna pay him back with some squats, Ooh. like 20 sets of 10 reps. What? Yeah, I'm I'll done walk for out that. after the first set. I'm gonna bring a bucket. And it's going to say Tyreek's puke bucket right on it. Oh, baby. <laughs> right, I'm I scared. love a leg day. I'm already blacking out. <laughs> well, hope you guys have a great night. If you enjoy the vlogs, make sure you tap that like button. Remember, change your video notifications from occasional to all to make sure you don't miss a next or a new video from me, especially if it's an upcoming Insta garbage. I'll see you there. Are you going to subscribe? Uh, I'll consider. <laughs> better. I, will, I will. You better subscribe. Comment <laughs> in the next video. We'll find you. Uh, Dude, he's, he's that no filter. I like him, yeah, no seriously. filter. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout vlog. I actually had a lot of fun. As you guys know, nothing makes me more happy than teaching others how to train properly. If you wanna see more workout vlogs, check out the link over here. And as always, if you need a full workout program, download my app and use the code MS7 for seven days free. I'll see you there.